Welcome to my studio. This is where I make music, practice my DJ sets, and of course, shoot content. For the past two years, I've been making content on TikTok and Instagram, but I finally decided to take things to the next level. So I've set up this space with YouTube in mind. So we're gonna start with the desks. There's a total of three in this studio. The main one is an office desk that I got from Techno Mobile, and I got it as a placeholder until I can gather enough money to buy the desk that I really want, the Egon Office Sway. But for now, this is what I have, and considering that its only job is to hold up my stuff, it's a pretty great desk, but it's not something that I would recommend for anyone looking for a long-term solution. And then moving on to the second desk, which is conveniently placed across the main one. So it's a simple wooden desk that I got for $5 from this lovely lady in my previous apartment building. And to give it some personality, I covered it up with carbon fiber vinyl because why not? It has my laptop and other stuff, but it's basically where I script my videos, respond to emails, and do some light video editing. And then last but not least, we have the on-stage keyboard stand, which holds my DJ controller. For sitting down and getting things done, I rely on my gaming chair, which I'll link in the description, along with everything mentioned in this video. It has a back support that you can adjust up and down for the most comfortable position for your back. And it also comes with a neck support thingy, but I've found that it's less comfortable with it, so I haven't been using it. The chair reclines all the way, but that's not a practical position for getting things done so I just keep it upright most times and maybe slightly back when I'm playing games and then for computers by now it should be obvious that there's two computers in the studio the main PC and the laptop first let's talk about the PC it has a Ryzen 5600X processor, 32 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 3060 for all the graphics intensive tasks. And then for storage, I have about four terabytes. Now here's a funny story about how humbling YouTube can be. So when I built this PC, it was very expensive for me. So you can imagine my shock when I go on YouTube and I found this video of a 16 year old who starts a video by saying, let's build a budget PC. And then he continues to build a PC that was way more powerful than mine and way more expensive. The more you know. Anyway, I use this PC to make music, edit videos, and of course, play some games when I have some time to kill. And then the laptop is a MacBook Air with the M1 chip. I use it to script my videos and to connect to the controller when I'm DJing. And thanks to the impressive power of the M1, I even edit 4K videos when I'm not at home or when I just don't feel like using the PC. And then the monitor is an LG Ultra Gear 24 GN600. It's a 144Hz 1080p IPS panel. While it offers decent color, covering 99% of the sRGB range, it might not be the best choice for color grading. With a peak brightness of around 366 nits, HDR is not as great either. However, at $170, it's a great option for everyday use and gaming. And then now let's move on to the accents and accessories that add personality to the studio. On the left side of the main desk, there are three shelves. Starting from the bottom shelf, I have an oil diffuser and my my PS5 controller. The diffuser serves multiple functions. It keeps the studio smelling fresh, adds some humidity to the air, and even lights up to create some dimension in my videos. The middle shelf has a Funko Pop Spidey and an Instax Mini 11 camera. These are just here to showcase things that I personally like and to bring some visual appeal to the setup. And then finally, the top shelf. Although barely visible, it holds a collection of books that I've read. Among them, you'll find titles like The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and Zero to One. On the left of the shelves, I have a pegboard that holds my three headphones which we'll talk about later in the video. And then for the keyboard and mouse I have a gaming pair from Marvo. They both have complicated names so I'll just put them on the screen for you. Starting with the mouse, it's very light and delivers everything that you would need from a mouse. Smooth and precise control. Now onto the keyboard, I have a 62% mechanical keyboard with RGB backlit keys. Its compact design saves up space on the desk while the RGB lighting adds a touch of visual flair. It has blue switches which means that it's very clicky. Here's a sample of how it sounds <laughs> then now moving on to the controllers i have a total of three two for music production and one for djing on the main desk there's an akai mpk mini and an akai fire the MPK Mini is straightforward. It's a MIDI keyboard with drum pads, allowing me to play melodies and trigger beats effortlessly. As for the Akai Fire, it's a very unique controller that allows me to make music without touching my keyboard or mouse. Now, talking about all its features would require a whole dedicated video, so let me know if that's something that you want to see. One cool thing that it does is that when my computer goes to sleep while it's still connected, this happens. Oh my God! Wow! 
And then moving on to the third controller, we have a Pioneer DDJ 800. I have a dedicated video on this controller on my channel, so I won't dive deep into it. Suffice to say, it's a professional controller that gives you all that you need to DJ. And then for audio input, I have several options that I use interchangeably depending on what I'm doing. For talking head videos like this, I have a Samsung CO2, which is located just outside the frame. I'm pointing to it right now. And if I'm on the main desk talking on Discord or in game, or if I have an artist come over to record vocals, then I use the Audio Technica AT2020, which is boomed on the desk and tucked behind my right speaker. And if I'm DJing live and I want to engage the audience, I use the Shure SM57. And then if I'm doing some kind of a vlog, then I'll use the Boya BYM1 or the BYMM1. I have two audio interfaces in the studio. The main desk uses an Atria Mini Fuse 1 and the laptop desk uses the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. And then for audio output, I have both speakers and headphones. The main production desk has the Kerakei Classic 5, which is by far my favorite pair of studio monitors. And then the DJing setup has the M Audio BX5s. And then on top of that speaker, there's Howard from the Big Bang Theory. Sometimes you just look and BAM! Howard Wallace. And then for headphones, I have the Audio Technica M30Xs, which I use to mix and master. They have a relatively flat sound, which is ideal for that. For DJing, I use the One Audio Pro 50s. They articulate like this, which makes them perfect for DJing. And then for general use, I use the Anchor Soundcore Q30s. And then finally, lighting. I have the Godox SL60W paired with an 85 centimeter Octabox. It serves all my lighting needs just right. And I also have some small RGB lights that I use to add mood and color to the shots when needed. I couldn't use a monitor light bar because my monitor already has a camera on top. So I just use an LED strip under the stand to illuminate some light on my keyboard and mouse. Another LED strip is on the side of one of the panels. It just adds some splash of color to my videos. And yeah, that's it for the studio tour. You can watch my top five studio monitors video here and thank you for watching catch you on the next one peace